Sarah has introduced you to uh, the Piano software, which we're going to use today to demonstrate uh, the probability software, FSS Fingerprint Access. Uh, if you go into the software and put in your username and password, you'll come through to this screen. And as you can see on this screen, we have a number of case studies, which we're going to focus on. Each of those case studies contains one latent print and one known print for you to make a comparison. Now, these are simulated latent prints. They're not from real casework. And what we've attempted to do is provide a number of latent prints which demonstrate particular aspects of the probability software, but also are representative of the sort of latent prints that you would deal with in casework. OK, now using the Piano software, what we can do is look at some of the results of those exercises that you've worked through today. So this is uh, the first latent that you had a look at. Um, as we can see, it's a very good latent, very clear minutia. And what I can do using the software is I can show the minutia plotting of the participants in this particular exercise. So just bring up all of the users there. Now what you can see is all of the minutia plotting of the different participants has been overlaid. And as you can see from that, in most cases, we find some very good consistency in where the minutia have been plotted. But they're only consistent, they're not exact. And that's because one of the things we have found in the development of this software is that a lot of fingerprint examiners will vary slightly on where they place minutia. And if you remember from the presentations that were given earlier, one of the parts of the uh, probability software contains an algorithm to mimic the normal distribution of that minutia plotting. OK. So this was the analysis. And as you can see, it is fairly consistent, which is what we would expect with a good quality latent. We're now going to move to the comparison screen and have a look at the comparisons that have been undertaken. So having completed the analysis, uh, you went through to make a comparison. And as you observed, when you called up the known impression in this particular case, what you found is that although we have a very good latent print, very clear minutia, um, unfortunately, it's not been reproduced within the known. It's the tip of a finger, so there's only a small area of correspondence between the latent print and the known. Using the software, what I can do is uh, demonstrate the results from each of the users. And as you see, they can appear on both sides of the screen, showing the correspondences that each user has marked. As you can see, there's, a same, there's quite a high degree of agreement within the correspondences. Um, and that's what we would expect, again, with a good quality latent and a good quality known impression. You will see that on the latent side, we now have some of the minutia have been colored in yellow. And the reason for that is that those minutia have either been added or the position altered, or the type of minutia altered after the analysis phase. That is one of the parts of this piano software uh, that it records such changes. So those minutia may have been influenced by what was seen in the known impression. So using this software, let's have a look at some of the results um, that have taken place. If we look at the table here and we pick this particular user, user number two, we find that the likelihood ratio magnitude is 10 to the zero. So what we can do now is look at the minutia placements that led to this likelihood ratio. So if we look at the uh, marking of minutia between the latent and the known for this, this particular user, we find that they have actually selected uh, five minutia 
which you can see marked on the latent print in these positions and the corresponding positions on the known. A likelihood ratio of 10 to the power zero for five minutia is fairly consistent, what we would expect in that particular case. As in terms of evidential weight, clearly that is not particularly strong, but again, from the work that we've shown before, the charts that we demonstrated in the presentation, you'll see that it's, it's first of all supporting that individualization with only five minutia would be difficult. Um, and secondly, it is indicating that those five minutia have at least some weight of evidence, depending on the context of the case. One of the other users, uh, this user here, has calculated a likelihood ratio of 10 to the power 2. What we can do again is look at the minutia placement and the number of minutia that has led to this likelihood ratio. And here is the minutia plotting for that likelihood ratio of 10 to the power 2. And we can easily understand why we have a higher likelihood ratio. The previous user marked 5 minutia. This user has now actually marked 6 minutia in this particular case. The addition of that one additional minutia has led to the increase in the likelihood ratio. Again, this is consistent with the research and the results that we demonstrated in our presentations earlier. And finally, we can look at our final user in this particular case, which has achieved the highest likelihood ratio of 10 to the power 3. And we can look to see the minutia placing in this particular case. And here is the minutia placing. And one of the first things that we observe is we actually got three yellow minutia markers in the, on the latent print, indicating that there was some influence from the known impression when this particular user calculated their likelihood ratio. That could be seen as introducing an element of bias. However, as it's been clearly represented as to the fact that that has happened, uh, that should be acceptable in, to most individuals. In this case, the user has marked one, two, three, seven minutiae. So that accounts again, as in the previous case, for the increase in the likelihood ratio. However, uh, what is interesting here is to focus on one of these particular minutiae placements which is this one here. So what we can do is have a look at that particular minutia. First of all, let's remove the minutia marking. And what we're interested in is this area here where a minutia has been marked. Now, an interesting thing uh, about this is this particular minutia placement has probably and almost certainly had an effect on the likelihood ratio and has increased that likelihood ratio. However, the real decision here is one for the fingerprint examiner, the fingerprint expert. Is actually that a minutia? Is there a convergence of the two ridges there to form the bifurcation that they've seen on the known impression? Or is this really too close to the edge? Now, one of the things that we can do with uh, this particular type of software is we could take that, remove that minutia marking from there, rerun the likelihood ratio to see if it has a particular effect. Uh, in this particular case, it actually does not have an effect. So the conclusion of the examiner could be, well, if I have to produce a chart, or if I have to take this particular latent print to court, it is not necessary for me to use that low confidence minutia in my evaluation because I can show through the use of this likelihood ratio software that it has a limited impact on my final evaluation. Now, if this particular latent had been in casework, um, clearly the real issue here is the known impressions, which have not been rolled um, up to the tip of this particular thumb impression in order that all of the minutiae in the latent could be used. So there's not an issue of the quality of the latent, 
but of a lack of a known impression to make a full comparison. Clearly one thing that we could do is look to obtain a, a new set of knowns from this particular individual. Obviously depending on the jurisdiction in which you work there are either some or limited powers to do that. But one thing this software would allow you to do is to give some idea of how likely it is that this particular latent came from this particular known. So it would certainly provide some intelligence, some assistance to the authorities to obtain additional knowns in certain cases.